This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at trends in ionization energy. So let's start by looking at a definition of first ionization energy. The first ionization energy is the energy required to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of gaseous atoms to produce one mole of gaseous one positive ions. This equation shows the first ionization of sodium. In this equation, we have one mole of gaseous sodium atoms, one mole of gaseous sodium one positive ions, and one mole of electrons. So the one mole of electrons have been removed from one mole of gaseous sodium atoms to form one mole of gaseous sodium ions with a one positive charge. Ionization energies have positive values, which means they're endothermic, as energy is required to overcome the attraction between the positively charged nucleus and the outer electrons. Next, we look at the graph of ionization energy on the y-axis against atomic number on the x-axis. We'll start by looking at the elements which have the highest ionization energies. They are helium, neon, and argon. These three elements belong to group 18, the noble gases. If we look at the trend in ionization energy in group 18, as we go down the group from helium to neon to argon, we can see that the ionization energy decreases. Next, if we look at the elements lithium, sodium and potassium, which all belong to group 1, we can see that the ionization energy decreases down a group. Next, we look at the trend in ionization energy across a period. So starting with period 2, that's lithium to neon, we can see that the ionization energy increases across a period. Next, if we look at period 3, that's sodium to argon, once again we can see that the ionization energy increases across a period. There are exceptions to the trend, the drop in ionization energy from beryllium to boron, nitrogen to oxygen, magnesium and aluminium, and phosphorus and sulfur all go against the general trend and I'll look at these exceptions in a later video. So next we look at the reasons for these trends. Ionization energy increases across a period. The reasons for this are the nuclear charge increases and the atomic radius decreases across a period, which means more energy is required to remove the outer electrons. Next, ionization energy decreases down a group. The number of occupied energy levels increases down a group, which means increasing atomic radius. This, together with increased electron shielding, means less energy is required to remove the outer electrons, and the ionization energy decreases. 